across the country after a deadly attack at a Pittsburgh synagogue. Last night, a large crowd gathered in Pittsburgh to honor the 11 people killed and six others who were hurt. The authorities say there's evidence to suggest the motive was anti-Semitism. We're a resilient people. We will work together as one. We will defeat hate with love. We will be a city of compassion, welcoming to all people, no matter what your religion or where your family came from on this earth or your status. Charleston is among the communities that held vigils after the attack. Mayor John Tecklenburg says the city has seen this kind of evil before. News 2's Temple Ricky joining us now live from Marion Square. Temple. Brad, this area was packed last night as hundreds gathered to mourn with the people of Pittsburgh. Now, this incident is drawing comparisons to the shooting at the Emanuel AME Church in 2015. Organizers have a clear message, never again. Mayor John Tecklenburg was among those who spoke to the crowd. And in a Facebook post, he says that hatred cannot conquer love and bigotry cannot defeat a true commitment to tolerance. Charleston is a place who has shown the world how to respond to terrible tragedies. And we've come to offer our support and to hold their hands and hold their hearts and show that we are one community, whether we, even though we are separated by roads and highways and rivers and seas, nevertheless, we are one community and we feel the pain over there as much as they do over here. State Representative Wendell Gilliard and other lawmakers plan to introduce a bill that will toughen the penalties for hate crimes in South Carolina. Now, South Carolina is currently one of five states in the nation that does not have a separate law for hate crimes. Reporting in Marion Square, Temple Ricky, count on two.